Well, let's work a little bit on rotation of the shoulder, drawing both a small circle and a big circle. Okay, so begin with one hand out to the side, just as you were before, like this, both hands together. So it's, let one hand drop, now draw a circle. Don't worry about rotation. Just keep your palm facing where it is. So you're shifting your weight, moving the shoulder up and down, which moves the arm. But now what we want to do is rotate. So turn your whole arm so your palm faces down. Now as you drop your hand, turn your palm to face inward. As the arm comes up, turn your palm facing up. So now you have rotated your shoulder joint. Now as you come across, drawing your big circle, rotate your hand so your palm is now down. But that rotation doesn't come just from turning your hand. The rotation comes from moving your shoulder joint, rotating the shoulder joint. So you're drawing a big circle and also a small circle, creating a spiraling type movement. You want to be shifting your weight and turning your waist. Okay, now the other hand. Start without rotation, just drawing a circle. So it's just up, shift your weight, turn your body. Palm is still facing in. Down, shift your weight, turn your body. Up, and across. Now let's rotate the shoulder, palm down. Rotate the shoulder so the palm faces in, and then up. As it comes across, you're rotating the shoulder so the palm ends up down. So it gives us a spiraling type of a feel to our movement, coming from the ground all the way up through the hand, from the ground all the way up through the body. So now let's work a little bit more on this idea of rotation. So bring both hands in front, circle them around the body, all the way around, and then release in the front. So the palms are up. See how I'm sinking my body, circling my arms around, rotating my shoulders, and releasing it. Now as the arms come back, take a step out. Bring the arms around as you move forward and release. As the hands come back, bring the foot in. Step out with the other leg, circle around all the way forward and release. Draw back, step out with the other leg, circle around. So it's not just circling like this or like this. It's a rotation. So here now, rotate your shoulders. Now here, rotate your shoulders. Back in. Step to the other side, circle around. Rotate your shoulders. Rotate the shoulders. Back in. Again. Very important to keep your shoulder joint relaxed and down. Good, and back to the center. So now we can go the other way. Come forward, this is like swimming, like the breath stroke. In, and forward, palm up. Rotate your shoulder, just like as if you were swimming. And then in and forward, like you're presenting something. Rotation. So really all we're doing is drawing circles with our arms. Big circle and a small circle. Now let's go ahead and step. As you come forward, bring the hands out. As you come back, bring the foot back in. 
forward and back. It's just like swimming. I've been told that in China, they call Tai Chi swimming on dry land. Very relaxed and you can even envision that you're moving through water. So this is some of the different circles. So now we have a circle in this direction we did. We have a circle in this direction we did. We have the circle in this direction where we're rotating. So we're turning the shoulder joint, right? We have circles going in this direction from the outside in and from the inside out, both directions, okay? So we can get them going in this direction as well. So now you shift your weight, turn your body. Like you're moving, like you're just kind of pushing some smoke away from your face, but you're drawing a circle. Then draw a circle with the other arm. And then draw a circle with the other arm. But the whole time, this one is still drawing a circle. You're shifting your weight, turning your body. Shifting your weight, turning your body. Now step forward. Shift your weight, turn your body. Draw your circles. So both of them are coming across the face and then across the face. But it's the turning of the waist that brings the arm across. You're not just throwing your arm there. The arm is always following the body in Tai Chi. And then there's the rotation of the shoulder. So the arm coming up, it's rotating. So it's very relaxed. Bring that foot in. Keep circling. Step forward with the other foot. Circle. Circle. and circle, coming back to the center. Bring the arms together, circle outward, and into the center. Inhale, up, circle outward. The arms circling away from each other and then toward each other. Now the other direction, inhale up, Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. And relax. So as you can see, these are just some of the circular movements we can do in Tai Chi. If you move in this way, circular movement, whole body movement, regulate your breath, nice, gentle, and even, and let your mind be calm and quiet, the guarantee I make is you will feel better than if you didn't do it. That's the beauty of Tai Chi. It's a very simple, natural movement that allows you to feel better when you're done. Thank you so much for joining me today on this episode of Stillness in Motion. My name is Rich Morantz, and until next time, I wish you peace, good health, and happiness.